Mechanical doesn't mean like, oh, you, you, just, you just took the magic away. I don't like your physics. No, 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 no. Mechanical is quite nonlinear. Mechanical is very, uh, very uh, capable of encompassing very highly complex systems. Very complex, very advanced, especially fluid dynamics, right? And uh, fractal mechanical function and, you know, scaling functions and so on. Anyway, let's look at it from the mechanical perspective, okay? And when we do, well, oh, wait. You see, this 2 pi is a circle, right? It's called as well the Dirac constant, right? So the energy that's going in a circle, right? The energy that's going in a circle is h bar, right? Is the Planck's constant. Which energy? Where it come from? Well, when Planck did this, he started playing around. It's called dimensional analysis. It's like how you deal with units, right? The units of mass, the units of length, the units of temperature, the unit, like the units of time, right? He started playing with the equation and he, he realized he could make something kind of miraculous, but that most physicists in a hundred years uh, and some of physics, basically ignored, okay? It's called the Planck units, all right? This is, this is a really important piece because in general, all the physicists said, oh, it's just, it's just a way of dealing with units. You see what I mean? So here is the Planck length. So you can see H bar, oh, look at that. Gravity and H bar hanging out together. Whoa, that's quantum physics. That's relativity or Newtonian physics, right? And, and the speed of light. So you get a link that's called the Planck length. Okay, it's very, very short length. It's very, very short, right? Well, the Planck length um, has a Planck mass. So what does that mean? If I was trying to explain this to you, it would mean that this length is as fast as a photon can go at the speed of light. Basically, you know, if it's going around the circle, it's as fast as it can go around the circle. Okay, is that length. After that, it would have to go faster than the speed of light. You guys follow that? So it's the shortest distance ever. It's billions and billions of times smaller than the atom. And because it's a little oscillation, it's a little energy, right? Well, you can rearrange this to get a mass. You see? So now you got... G on the bottom, the, sp the speed of light on top, and H bar. And, uh, and you get a mass. And it's a pretty big mass for such a small object. Okay, it's 10 to minus 5 grams. It's pretty big for a small object. And then you get a time. The time it takes to go around the circle, right? And you can get a temperature and so on. So these are the only natural units we know of in physics or in the world, right? All other units of measurements are arbitrary, right? Like the foot of, uh, of uh, king whoever, you know, and, you know, the, right? The, the circumference of the earth, which changed, you know, to make the meter, the, you know, things like that are ar arbitrary. But these are not because these are based on fundamental values we measure in the universe. This is 
fundamental constants of the universe making units of measurement. So they're called natural units. And they emerge from Planck's discovery. But like I said, physicists just saw this as a rearrangement of units, not as something physical. And that's how they missed it. Okay? That's how they missed the relationship between gravity and quantum mechanics. And the nature of mass, which is the nature of energy. Right? So now, you know, now, now we're starting to like get some links. Okay? Now, even on the Wikipedia page, I was reading that today. I was like shaking my head. Even on the Wikipedia page on Planck's unit, you will see a quote from a famous physicist that says, you know, Planck units are actually fundamental to unifying quantum gravity or to producing, like they, they are at the center of understanding quantum gravity, but yeah. And so, because th there's a thing, there's a trick. And then later on in the page, you'll see another sta statement from another physicist that says, um, you know, because in physics, there's this habit to make uh, C, H bar, G, uh, and multiple quantities all equal one to simplify the equations. Seriously? These are huge different values and they make them all equal one so it simplifies the equations easier. And that happens continuously in physics. And so you lose the physical meaning and the quote even says, this is dangerous because you lose the physical meaning and can get quite confusing. We lost the physical meaning, folks. We lost the nature of the physicality, which is way beyond what you can ever fucking imagine. <laughs> Tell you what, like, you know, because people think, oh, the material world is boring. I'm trying to get the fuck out of here, you know, like, uh, I want to fly, right? But the material world is incredible. It's insanely magical. It's like, wow, right? And you're made out of it. And then out of it, you emerge with like a capacity to wonder about the material world that you're made of. It's a remarkable thing. Right? 